Because we were just talking to Jess. I mean, this is one of those games where, you know, a, a big test. You guys were right there, maybe a hit away, you know. The, 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 the two-run homer kind of gave them a little bit of distance there in the second. But, but you, you, while it's not the result you wanted, you got to feel like you were right there and, and saw a lot of good things. Yeah, absolutely. I felt like Miss Katie settled in. She threw a good game with, like, great defense behind her. Um, we hit the ball hard sometimes. It was just uh, either right at them or they made some exceptional plays. Uh, and credit to them for making those plays. Um, the, the hitter that hit the home run is an exceptional hitter. Uh, she's pretty special. So you miss one on her, it's, it's going to get out of here real quick. But I thought Katie settled in. She threw a great game. Um, we had opportunities to score. Um, just didn't come up with that timely hit. What what specifically do you think it was that kind of allowed Katie to settle in? You know, I mean, she, she threw all weekend. And I feel like she just, you know, you, if you try to press a little bit, your, your ball doesn't run as much. And I think she got settled in. And um, a few pitches got away from her. And the walks kind of bit us in the butt. So I felt like once she got going, she was grooving. And we played great defense behind her, like I said. Um, but I thought she had great composure on the mound. Certainly for you guys, first game without Taylor, you know you're going to be without Taylor now. I know it's such a tough blow this offense because she, she means so much. But again, you have, while maybe the results weren't what you wanted, you had to see some encouraging things at the play today, even without Taylor. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, it's a, a big one for us. Um, but I felt like everybody stepped up and did their role. And did their part, especially defensively. That was something that I was really proud of our effort and how we were in the game. And hopefully, we, we showed what we can do defensively and offensively. We, you know, we, we've got to figure out a way to score some RBIs. You know, that's the biggest thing. She brought a lot of runs in. Um, we have to figure out a way to manufacture some runs a little bit better. Uh, but again, I thought we looked confident. Uh, just the ball didn't fall our way. And, and do you think? I mean. That com you look confident. Do you think that confidence can kind of carry over now as you go into a, a, a big conference series on the road this weekend? I mean, I think you're on the road. You're on the road for a while now, aren't you? So certainly, you know, a, a lot of play away from here now coming up. Do you think that what you did today, while not the result you wanted, is something you can definitely build on going forward? Yeah, absolutely. You know, as players got to play and, and get their feet wet, and um, you know, they know they're not have to be in new roles. And I think that it's important for us to get um, excited. Uh, to get to go play in Conference USA this weekend. Um, and then we also are on the road the next weekend. But, yeah, you know, I mean, we're still playing the game of softball. We still got to hit it. We still got to pitch it. We still got to field it. And um, we're capable of doing those things. Um, but, so, yeah, I was proud of our effort today. Obviously, it's not fun not to win, but um, I thought we played a good game of softball. I mean, I feel like it was all around just a great effort. This is probably one of the best defensive games that I've seen you all play against a very tight defensive team. I mean, they're very quick on their defense, and you all were doing it right back at them. I mean, it was just those first couple of innings. So just moving forward, especially with you all having a very quick turnaround here for the next weekend of Conference USA play, just what do you just take with you just overnight in order into the next game? Well, thank you for that, first of all. Um, you know, I think that we showed that we can play. Um, I feel like other kids stepped up and showed they can fulfill roles. And we have to figure out our lineup. That's the, that's my job. Um, and so figuring out what works best. Um, you know, I felt like we switch it up today. We're going to have to do that. Uh, but I think we got a lot of capable players able to do things. Um, but yeah, defensively, I thought we were rock solid. I mean, even I mean, speaking on that defensive side, I mean, yes, you have Taylor out, but you have Kennedy Foot who steps in on that. I mean, she had two amazing plays over there on third base. I mean, the first the diving catch and then the double play. So, I mean, what is just some things, just words of encouragement for your girls moving forward? Yeah, I think they show they can do it. You know, I mean, you don't know until you get the opportunity sometimes. And, you know, it's she showed she's a gamer. And practice is practice, but games matter. And, you know, I felt like she, showed her skill set today. I mean, this is only the first of a couple more Power 5 teams that are coming right here to Bowling Green. So obviously you have time and a lot of practice and mental things to get through in order to prepare for those games because they're right back here on your home field. Absolutely. You know, we're, we're thankful to, to get such quality opponents. Um, you know, our job is to try to play good quality softball and to give the fans something um, to come watch. And, you know, hopefully we did that today. Uh, I know the girls work hard. Um, so we, we're thankful for these games because it does prepare us for Conference USA, big moments, um, and great, great teams.